I'm back here hiding from JV and I'm trying to be quiet. My husband is up there, but ciao. Hiding from your kids, episode 46. Y'all, y'all, my, my mood is a little off. I, I need to, I don't know why. I'm just, I'm tired. I'm not tired, I'm just tired of people. Does that make sense? But y'all, let's get into this skit. Girl, if I don't look like my credit scores in the 700s, let's get into the skin. Let's do a slow pan of my skin. We're still working on the forehead, but overall, I'm looking very blessed. You know, let me put on some music. That'll get me in a better mood. Um, I know part of my reason for my mood is because I'm just over Amazon. I'm over Amazon. We're going to get into that in a minute. So y'all know how we do this. Oh, let me tell you what I'm doing. Clearly, I got this big ass bonnet on. <sighs> I'm over my packages not coming on on time. Coming in on time. And I get it because everybody's at home ordering stuff. And so everyone's quarantined shopping like me. So my goal was to do a fashion show this weekend for y'all and for my husband. Girl. Um, because I had all these spring dresses coming in. That was delayed from Friday, delayed Saturday. Now they're saying Monday. So, long story short, we're going to be doing my makeup because I'm going to be taking down my hair because I'm in the middle of reviewing a hair product for you guys. It's the uh, Mango Lime by, um, hold on y'all. I'm the, in the middle of reviewing the Jamaica Mango, Jamaican, Jamaica, Jamaica Mango and Lime Lock and Gel. Let me turn this down. So I'm going to be doing my makeup, doing a little bit of cute spring glam i'm very moisturized so i don't need to do that you guys i have been using the good molecules products that was sent to me by t a fellow subscriber thank you so much girl i've been using these if not twice a day every day some of the serums you really aren't supposed to use every day but i've been using minimum five to six products along with some of my other stuff every day i will be doing a formal review on everything in about 30 days. I think it takes that long to see an actual, I see a difference now, honestly, after a few days, but let's give it 30 days, hold on. Look, it's gonna get black. One hand wop. Y'all, speaking of music, have y'all been checking out these um compare i don't know what do you call them competition battles between producers i saw the one between well i didn't see the one between teddy riley and was it teddy riley Good no. versus babyface oh corny ass i didn't see that one i like babyface so i i didn't really catch that one but i did see the one between little john <laughs> little john and t-pain every thought feeling that i had y'all can't understand me every thought feeling an urge that I ever had came out with Little John. I, I was going in between wanting to twerk and punch somebody, wanting to slap a hoe. That's what Little John, I grew up on that stuff, meaning college years and stuff like that, early 20s. Um, who else did I catch? I also caught a battle between Neo and another low-key, no, we, we really don't know who he who he was but you recognize his music it was not neo versus janta jante chow when i was like who is jante and where have you been all the songs y'all so yeah i've been watching some of those battles um really haven't been watching youtube if i'm watching youtube it's for quote unquote educational i'm looking at a review I just go ahead and do my makeup i'm putting on my matte primer now i used to pour professional Y'all really can't see this. This this bright is on. So I'm not going to go into everything, y'all. I'm not no makeup person. Meaning no makeup YouTuber. So we ain't going to be doing that. So, yeah, I've been going on YouTube looking at stuff for um, knowledge. If I need to know something. I'm not really watching people. I am watching Donna's Journey. She's a mukbanger. Originally from Shreveport. But she lives in, I think she lives in Tennessee. Um... Oh, since my skin is clear, this is really working. Wow, this match you out. Do you see that? Do you see that? What have y'all been buying? When I tell you, I have been buying everything on Amazon from, from drawers, panties, to homeschool stuff. <laughs> but then, I was talking to my sister, 
And anyone who knows me know you know you know me about my nails. You know me for my nails. I love to get my nails done. I love to keep my nails up and pretty. You guys saw my other videos, but y'all, we ain't going to know. Um, everything's closed. One, and honestly, I had already decided. First of all, I understand that Georgia and Texas are doing like a soft reopening. They're opening back up. If it comes to that here in Phoenix, I'm not going to go get my nails done. Absolutely not. And that's a lot for me because I've been getting my nails done since I was 13, you guys. But we're going to get back to the Amazon orders in a minute. But y'all know how I am. The hell is that? Oh, it's a car. I'm not, I'm not going to the nail salon. I'm not. Um, sorry, y'all. I'm looking for transitional colors and I don't see it in the, the palettes I'm using. Um, so, yeah, I will... So, in speaking to my sister, I was telling her, I said, you know what? I was looking at press on nails, girl. And I get that they've come a long way. And actually, one of my neighbors, she wears press on nails. But look, we were literally in the middle of a discussion once, and one of her nails popped off. And she wasn't fighting nobody. She wasn't trying to peel an orange. A nail just popped off. I'm like, okay, no, nah, we, we ain't gonna be able to rope. I'm not gonna be able to do this. So, I'm like, okay. Vivian, can you do your nails? Could you do acrylic nails? So I talked to my sister the other night and I'm like, look, I am not stepping into another nail salon again. I need to know what all do I need to buy. Let me back up. My sister is a cosmetologist and a nail technician. So she's like, girl, you are gonna have to just, you can buy everything. Do dip, what did she say? Dip powder. I've only had dip powder once and it's when she did it. I'm like, word, so I looked at a couple of videos. I'm like, Look, this looks easy as hell. All you do is stick a nail on, dip your nail in acrylic powder. You add the bonding stuff first on the nail, dip your nail a few times in acrylic powder. It could be colored acrylic powder, tap it off, dip. Brush it off, tap it off, dip. Brush it off, whatever, you know what I mean? And then you add like the sealants and top coats and you done. I was like, girl, she's like, yes, yeah, sis. So she sent me a screenshot of everything that she uses because she does her own nails at home. And I sent her everything that I was going to purchase in my Sally's cart. And um, that's it. I spent a good 200, girl, I got everything. I got everything from a little mini gel lamp because I will be doing like a gel top coat on top of the uh, dip powder. And so they have mini lamps, very affordable on Amazon. So I just got a little little cheap one, like $15, $20. And she even told me, she said, you can even make your own dip powders because the dip powders are expensive. Oh yes, they run between nine to $15, $20. I'm not spending all that. So she said, look, what you do, you get you a clear acrylic powder and then you add loose eyeshadow. I said, done. I found a good six or seven loose eyeshadow. She said, you can mix it up. And there you go. You have your own color. Um, so yes, that's coming in. When all of that comes in, I will show you guys what it looks like. Now, I don't know if I, because I don't have my system filming set up. So I don't know if I'm going to show you, you know, how I do my nails. Because that's a totally, totally different type of setup. You literally have to have a tripod that your camera basically has to be aimed down. I will have to purchase all new, you know, additional equipment. I'm not purchasing nothing right now. I'm not purchasing more stuff during the quarantine, even though I'm going to tell you about the stuff I purchased on Amazon. <laughs> Look, y'all, don't be sending me no um, messages about sales that are going on. I don't need to hear about that, about any of this, these sales. So, <clears throat> while I was on Sally's getting the nail stuff, I went ahead and picked up two products by Textured ID. Um, I picked up the <clears throat> Coils... It's called the Coils Twisting Butter. And then I also picked up the Daily Moisturizer, okay? And so, <clears throat> I will be doing a review on both of those products. Not a problem. I knew they had a new collection coming out. I wasn't sure if I wanted to purchase them because I'm on the fence with Textured ID. I really am. Um, I think they work better. I don't know. I think they could work for our hair, hair type, but... I'm not 100% in love with the collection. I mean, with their products. Oh shit, girl, I almost dropped this. Y'all, let me get myself together. That's pretty. That 
That's really pretty. <clears throat> Excuse me, y'all. Y'all, who took my liner? One of y'all took my liner. Look, I gotta blame somebody. My girl, ain't nobody been in your makeup but you. That's true. That's factual. Um, <clears throat> so yes, Amazon shopping is out of control. But look, I was fit to be tied, child, because last night, I, you know how you get a notification when your Amazon order comes. I'm already stalking it, but you get a notification that says your, you know, so and so and so and so was just delivered. I open up the door. I don't see nothing. I go down across the um behind the house to where our go uh, our trash cans are situated. I don't see nothing. I take my fluffy ass all the way down to check our mailbox, open it up, flashlight and all because it's nine o'clock at night. I don't see anything. I'm like, what the hell? So, oh, I'm I'm livid because I need my stuff. I need my packages, okay? So I got to get online on um, chat because now they have Amazon chat. I don't even see an area to email them. I would prefer email because I, I need to see a paper trail, okay? I don't even see that option anymore. Fine. So I send them an email. I'm like, um, I mean a chat. I'm like, I just had some items delivered. Let me back up. I went on UPS and the message said delivered to docking station. I'm like, docking station? Ain't no docking station near here. Ain't my house. No. So I get on chat and I know that they are hiring people in another country. So a lot of the times they don't understand the verbiage. So the one guy was like, I see that it was delivered. I said it wasn't delivered here. It said that it was delivered to a docking station or, you know, a docking area. He's like, well, did you check the docking area? I said, we don't have a docking area. I don't live on no damn boat. This ain't no warehouse. I live in a house. This is why I contacted you. Because we don't have no dock. He said, well, I'm so sorry for the inconvenience. Would you like a refund? Yes. Give me my money. So I can go get this stuff somewhere else. So, I already went to thriftedbooks.com. Because this is all for the stuff that was, you know, not delivered. This was JB stuff, right? Hold on, y'all. I got to find my um, concealer stuff. See, y'all throwing me all off because I'm, I'm heated. So anyway, <laughs> they give me, you know, they put in an order to refund my, my stuff. Because now it's for two packages that said would, were delivered. I never got them, right? Why this morning I checked the front door and my packages are there. And one of them is ripped open. So that means that someone either it was delivered to someone else's mailbox and they opened them or someone stole them off our front yesterday and they noticed that they were children's books so they just brought them back you raggedy tramp you whoever or maybe you didn't thank you i shouldn't say that thank you for for giving me back my packages but why did you open my stuff up ain't that some mess so i'm a little i have to be very careful now because when i tell you i have several i have at least 16 this is sad. I have at least 16 more packages coming from Amazon alone. Yeah. So our blinds are open most of the day for the front area. So you, and for you to literally come all the way up into, cause we, it's not like a front porch. You have to walk all the way up into the entryway, entryway to our doorway to get something. Either that or, you know, they delivered it into their own mailbox and the person decided to give it back to us. But Hmm. So, <laughs> so yeah, got my packages coming in. Got my packages from um, what is it? They haven't even shipped out from Sally's. I ordered some N95 masks. Really need. I need to blend this out, and I need to get something more lighter because I look dark. You see how I'm looking? Yeah, I need to blend this out more. All right, girl. So let's talk about what we watching. Oh, real quick, real quick. How about these states reopening? Y'all better be careful. Now, to protect my husband at his job, I'm not going to give everything that he said, but I'll just say it, okay? Please, you need to really consider when a uh, government has basically made the decision to say, we're going to reopen and they name specific names that people of color or even minorities are known to frequent or flock. You know, in Georgia, what did they say? What did they say in Georgia? Barber shops, hair salons, nail shops, bowling alleys. Oh, yes. Who goes there? What type of people be frequent, frequent the nail salons and the barber shops? 
Huh? Think about it. So, we have never seen how this disease works. And this is, in my opinion, my opinion, this is going to be a test. And expect a wave too. It may not be as bad, but expect expect it with, with you know, states reopening. Um, I'm staying in and staying put. I'm not doing anything for a while. If that if that means well into the end of the year, so so be it. You know what I mean? I'll stay in and see and watch y'all and see how it affects y'all before I do anything. But I can't even you know I can't even play like that because my immune system is is you know not that great. All right, y'all. I think I want to do a pink lip, like hot pink lip. Let me see how I look. Nah, oh, that's red. No, I'm going to do a purple pink lip. Get it together, Vivian. See that? Oh, yes. Um, That's so pretty. That is so pretty. This is called Matte Glam by Milani, but I need to deepen, deepen her up some. So we're going to mix Milani Sangria. See what that looks like. I don't know. She needs to be deeper than that. It's going with like a blue purple. Look at that. See what that did to it. And baby, I know my colors. I, I've been at this for a while. So then we're gonna go in the middle with this matte. Leia Gordon used to sell these in her shop. It's like a matte lip color. She doesn't sell this stuff anymore. Just at the bottom here like this. Hold on. See what I did there? Then I'm gonna See what it does? Very pretty. Ombre it is basically. See? Ombre. Ombre. So then I take my concealer. I don't want to make sure that my lips are perfect. Then I go back in. <laughs> and we're good. All right, blush. Y'all, let's talk about these shows for dang, girl, get it together. So, y'all, I forgot to come to correct, but my skin has been so good. I really didn't need any correction. Um, so, it's okay. Y'all, first of all, let's get into uh, Little Fires every, Everywhere. Again, this is the show with Reese Witherspoon and Kerry Washington on Hulu. It is based off of a book from what I understand. Uh, but can we, <laughs> can we talk about how Kerry Washington was holding her mouth? She literally was, every facial expression, when something happened, she was like, I don't know, I don't know how to do it. She was like, I don't know. I was like, are you constipated? What the hell? Her face was like, I mean, she would she would make her front teeth buck out, and she's just like, "I'm like, close your mouth, Carrie. Your mouth is open." Clo Child, <laughs> that was really irking me. Like seriously, those awkward ass facial expressions. Um, the season finale was beautiful. It was absolutely. I mean, it was a great, great story. If you haven't checked it out, please do. Again, it's called Little Fires Everywhere, and it's on Hulu. That's probably a little too much. Girl, I look like a damn doll. Vivian, let me bump that out. You see that? Look like someone punched me in the face with. There we go. So, um, Good Girls, I'm done. Done. I'm done. Good girls with Christina Hendricks, um, the, the very good looking Latin guy, Rio. I'm done. No, I'm not even going to bother. Now, I can tell the chemistry was a little bit heavier, but I told y'all what I wanted. You know, I wanted to see them pressed up on a on a um, bathroom stall or something. That's what everyone wants. That's what we're watching it for because of the chemistry between the two. 
but they're not biting. I don't know what's going on. I don't know if the writers feel like this is too much or what, but it's not too much because that's what we want to see. So I'm done. I'm not going to watch it anymore. Westworld, I'm not going to give any spoilers, sis. I'm not going to say much. I will say this. You know, Dolores is a badass on the show. Dolores is one of the robots who um, you should be caught up by now. You should be caught up, so spoiler. Dolores is one of the robots who came back and she cloned herself. But I have a feeling that all of the clones are not on her side because they almost, one of them, the person that she was cloned to be the black lady in a bad white suit, the black chick, I feel like the person that she was cloned to be is kind of peeking through. Do you feel that? I feel that way. So Dolores has a hidden agenda, I, I believe, that her clones are not aware of. Now, I didn't say this, you guys, because I didn't want y'all feeling a certain type of way by, by me. When Ed Harris' character came out, you know, he plays the man in black. Child, when he came out a couple of, because he, he's having some problems, because he accidentally killed, I felt bad. At last season, he accidentally killed his daughter because she thought he thought she was one of the machines playing the game she, that they put in the theme park for him. So he accidentally shot and killed his own daughter, right? Well, that did something to him. So he went a little crazy, had a you know a little moment. Um, but they showed up to pick his butt up. I'm like, you need to clean up, child. When he came out and all that black, I'm like, is that Versace? What is it? <laughs> He came out and all the, y'all know how I like me an older man. Yes, give me, you You got dementia, I'm on it. <laughs> okay, no, nah, no. But you know, he came, the thing about me like an older man, I do not have daddy issues. There is just something about a silver fox, a man who was well together, groomed, you know, that's very attractive to me. Um, Absolutely, I like men my, my own age, but I, I'm really attracted to older men. I, speaking of, I was stalking Jeff Goldblum again the other day girl but anyway um ed harris came out in all black looking very nice and even the woman turned around she's like you clean up really nice i'm like hell yes he did yes he cleaned up really nice y'all i'm adding highlighter this highlighter is the bump you see that very very pretty um Yes, yeah, so I'm really I'm liking Westworld. I'm a little confused about the last episode. Um, I'm not gonna like I said I'm not gonna give any spoilers, but I'm a little confused. I'm very now. I was worried about Dolores. <clears throat> I'm not worried about Dolores anymore. I'm worried about Jesse. I know that's not his name. That's him on Breaking Bad. Um, yeah. So, all right, you guys. What else am I watching? I be watching a lot of stuff that I don't be telling y'all about. Um. Yeah, Good Girls is gone. Dead to Me is coming back again. This coming season two is starting this coming Friday. I am here for it. I absolutely love season one was very interesting. I was not expecting that. Okay, whatever. I don't watch that. Um, a show that I just binge watched, and when I tell you it was really good, like it's up there for me. Sharp Objects. It stars the redhead girl that played in Confessions of a Shopaholic. Y'all know who I'm talking about? She has long, curly red hair. And she also played in The Arrival. Okay, I don't know her name. Um, she looks really good to be in her 40s. I, I always age her younger. I think it's because she has that long, curly hair. She could pass for early 30s. And I think she's like 42, 43. But Sharp Objects is on HBO and it is what you call southern gothic which is one of my favorite genres southern gothic is ahs coven eves bayou classic southern gothic you see where i'm going so sharp objects is basically about a reporter who goes back to the hometown that she's from to investigate these or to report on the deaths of two girls um she has all of these issues she had with her mother. She had a sister who passed away from an unknown illness. She has a half sister that lives there. And it's a small town, so they have all their secrets and there's a lot of stuff that won't so trigger. Um, the main character also suffers from, uh, well, she self-harms, self-mutilates herself. Um, I don't think that's a spoiler because it comes up in the, like the first episode. And so it's really interesting. It, every episode, it kind of started off slow then episodes five through on it's like eight episodes episodes five through eight done 
that's why I, I finished it in two days because I was like this is good I normally don't do that I you know but yeah I binge watched everything really good again it's called sharp objects on HBO very very good you guys it got some um twists and turns some things you don't know I was a little the reason why I put it in the category I think it is a southern gothic because there's a ghost that comes up the ghost of her dead sister appears and sometimes she sees her sometimes she doesn't i kind of like that i kind of like when there's scary parts of a movie to where only the audience sees it and no one really knows about it so i was freaked out and she started appearing a lot towards the end of the series um because she's trying to help her sister i'm not going to go into any more detail but check it out if you haven't um girl there's really not much else i've been watching y'all guess what i watched again a movie why did i rewatch the players club <laughs> lisa ray and those fashion over fashions you know what looking at the players club at dang on near you know 40 years old is totally different when i watched it when i was in my 20s a lot of the stuff i thought was funny and just um you know just I guess my perspective on a lot of things totally change. Um, everything from the fact that, you know, Ronnie basically raped Lisa, uh, Lisa Ray's character, Diamond. You know what I mean? We really, I really didn't think any of it then. I just thought that, okay, she was drunk and she got taken advantage of it. I didn't look at it as rape, but it's, it's rape. You know what I mean? So, um, so yeah, yeah, I didn't even, hold on child these damn kids child on their little mini motorcycles so yeah yeah I didn't even finish watching it. I like for watched like the first hour so I didn't even get to the part to where the young woman was raped by junior a junior's bachelor party I didn't get to that I don't think I could handle that all right y'all this is what my makeup is looking like now I gotta finish this other eyebrow I'll do that after cam lips yes all right y'all i hate to end it like this so somber but that is it you guys take care